Good morning, team, for jumping on this, on today's call and joining me as we kind of an elevated elevated version of a course I've been teaching since 2011 in different forms. But before I get into that, I want to remind you of my professional purpose, and that is to help you, the broker, optimize your productivity and help you become the best version of yourself. Why? Because happy brokers sell more real estate, and I do that by helping you handle challenges and opportunities that you face every single day. And if you can effectively manage through these situations that arise on a daily basis in your business, you'll be more productive and live a life that is the best version of you. And that's really my goal for all of you, okay? Uh, On today's second module of my Monday morning pep talk, you know, take flight, you know, version 4.0, I will follow up on last week's call where I define take flight as your basic operating system. And today I will continue with that and I'll take you through the five sections of your business. For a business to fly at 30,000 feet, which in, as it relates to us, it's about flow. You know, we want to be in flow in our business where all sections of our business are working together. Um, you know, we want all, you know, like I said, we want all five of these sections. To, they they need to be built for success, and they need to operate together in sync. That's the only way you're gonna get to thirty thousand feet. Now, during our time together during Take Flight version four point oh, I will compare these sections of a consumer based business to five different sections of a commercial aircraft. Okay, and those sections are number one: mindset, vision, goals your execution strategy. And we're going to compare that to the cockpit of your plane. Okay. Section two, habits, rituals, systems, and processes. Okay. Let's call this the section, your tail section of your plane. Okay. This is the tail of your plane. That's section number two. Section number three is database and relationship management. This is the body of your plane that carries all of your relationships, all right? Section four, lead generation, or what I call your three rocks of marketing. This is wing number one. This wing and this engine will be key to getting your business off the ground. Section five, deliver and leverage. These are the systems and processes that create the experience during a transaction that result in introductions. And this is going to be your wing engine number two. Now let's go into those those areas in more detail. Okay. Um what what you can expect. Okay. So, but before we get to those five sections, I want to talk about fuel. All right. The fuel is obviously what creates what we need in our business to make sure that all five of these sections of our plane work. And um, this should be likened to the consistent effort and skill that you execute with every single day. Consistent effort and skill is the fuel. Without that consistent effort and skill, you'll not achieve that 30,000 feet, which is that feeling of flow where your business is working for you. Few will ever see 30,000 feet because they don't fully understand the foundational principles of building a business, okay? We're gonna talk about that in great detail over the coming weeks and months. If you combine what I teach you over the coming weeks and months with consistent skill and effort, you're going to get to 30,000 feet. Okay. More on this topic of fuel and what that really, how that kind of compares or how we want to liken that to your business. We're going to get into that in more detail here next week. Okay. Uh, All right. Section one, which we talked about, right? Mindset, vision, goals, and your execution strategy, your cockpit. Could a plane get off the ground without navigation systems, electronics, and radar? Absolutely not. You know the answer. So why do so many entrepreneurs try to go straight to action without carefully plotting out their business? Right? Why do so many people go straight to action thinking that's where everything starts? All right? They don't know where they want to go, right? What resources will be needed? And what it's going to take to get there. What's it going to take to get there? We are taught as a society that this is not necessary. And because of that, the 95 to 97% of business owners will never, ever see 30,000 feet. Again, that easy flow where your 
business is working for you. Team, this is not this is not uh, something that we should look at as something that can't be created. I'm seeing it happen every single day. Okay, seeing agents that have that business business in flow. Now, again, you have to have a destination, a plan to get there, and an execution strategy to make it your destination. The modules of these Monday morning pep talks in this section will lay out exactly the basic necessary strategies to do just that. All right, section two. All right, this is you're going to be your habit systems or habits, rituals, systems, and processes. This is again in the tail of your plane. The tail plane is an important part of most fixed wing airplanes, right? Also known for those of you that study aircraft that it's called a horizontal stabilizer. It typically consists of a, a pair of horizontal extensions at the rear of the airplane's fuselage, right? So you got the plane and then you've got these uh, stabilizers. These hor horizontal stabilizers live up to their namesake. They live up to their namesake by stabil stabilizing airplanes during flight, okay? Now, that's exactly what habits, rituals, systems, and processes do for your business. They stabilize your business. You do the same thing consistently over and over and over again. That's how you create stability in your business. Now, in this section of Take Flight, the modules will cover the areas of your life and business where you need to create those habits, rituals, systems, and processes to be successful. Okay. Section number three, database and relationship management. This is the body of your plane, like I said, that carries your passengers and your relationships. For a commercial aircraft, your business, what is the point of flight if you're not taking people somewhere with you? Okay. In this section, we will talk about the five lists that every business owner needs to maintain as if their business depends on it. These lists are your warm lists, your hot lists, your top 100, your referral partners, and local brokers in your market that you collaborate with all right it's that group those those are your five lists if you don't have these lists you don't have a business you have a hobby again take flight is an operating system however you decide to maintain your list that's up to you okay the database and and other technologies that work for you should be what you use to plug in to take flight all right it could be as basic as a Google Doc or a, an Excel spreadsheet. Some of the most successful businesses I've seen have been run off of spreadsheets. And I'm, I'm talking hundreds of millions of dollars worth of production. So it's not always about, you know, massive technology. It's about being reminded to do certain th things with your business, with your relationships consistently over a long period of time. The point of this section will be that if you effectively manage your relationships over the long term, your need to consistently lead generate, lead generate to keep your business airborne will decrease significantly. When that phone's ringing, you're going to lead generate, but it's not going to be as massive part of your of your business if you're um, taking care of your relationships. Section four, this is that three rocks of marketing, you know, your lead generation, which is that first wing and engine, okay? The wings generate most of the lift to hold the plane in the air. To generate lift, the airplane must be pushed through the air. The jet engines, which are located beneath the wings, provide the thrust, push the airplane forward through the air. The air resists the motion in the form of aerodynamic drag. In a business, you need to understand and define what lead generation strategies provide to create that similar lift that will hold your business in the air, propel it forward. Okay, Chances are those effective lead generation strategies are right underneath your nose. They're working for you now or have worked for you in the past. In the modules, these Monday morning pep talks, uh, in this section, we will take you through the proven steps on how to identify the best three lead generation strategies for your business. We're going to go into great detail. All right. And then section number five, this is your deliver and leverage. It's your second wing and your second engine. Now, the question I have for you, are you creating an experience during the transaction that drives introductions to you and your business? Two key words in that sentence, experience 
and introductions? Are you creating an experience during the transaction that drives introductions to you and your business? If not, two things could be occurring. You're either not looking for those opportunities that, that are presented to you on a daily basis, or you need to improve the experience you are providing your clients. In this section, I'll discuss how you can take one transaction with one of your clients and turn it into three, a total of three transactions. You need that second wing and engine to provide the additional support and lift to keep your business in the air. So there you have it, right? Like you've got those five sections, mindset, vision, goals, execution strategy, section one. Section two, habits, rituals, systems, and processes. Section three, database and relationship management. Section four, three rocks of marketing and lead generation. Section five, deliver and leverage, right? So it's, it's crazy when you look at it that way. Just like an aircraft, a business has five areas that are needed to create that flow we all want, which is the 30,000 feet. If you can combine these five areas and the fuel, which is that consistent effort and skill, you're going to get to 30,000 feet, okay? Now, the question is, is what is 30,000 feet for you? Go into this course knowing that it was created specifically for you. It's an operating system built for all production levels and all stages of life. Re-listen to this call and rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the highest level of execution for each section. If you're not an 8, 9, or 10, you've got some work to do. On a scale of 1 to 10, where are you in the area of mindset, vision, goals, and execution strategy? On a scale of 1 to 10, at what level are you executing your habits, rituals, systems, and processes? On a scale of one to 10, how connected are you to your five lists? Do you have a database and relationship management strategy that is driving business to your pipeline? On a scale of one to 10, how effective is your lead generation strategies, your three rocks of marketing? Are they creating new business for you? On a scale of one to 10, what are your systems and processes during the transaction that create a level of experience for your crop? for your clients that will help you create two additional introductions, opportunities out of each client transaction. As we move along through the course, we are gonna get way more granular into each detail of each section. So this is my reminder to you to use this, uh, use this course to identify areas of focus, which will allow you to seek further self-development in these identified areas that you identify that you need to work on, okay? You can use this course as an audit, as an audit for your life and business, a validation that you are on track or that you need work in certain areas. A lot of this will not be new to you if you've been around me for a while, right? It's not going to be new to you, but please do not disregard the content because you've heard it before. Most learning happens because of repetition. I had people that have been listening to me for years and for whatever reason, I say something they've heard before over and over again, but that one time I say it a little bit differently, it clicks or it's hitting them at exactly the right time. The goal for me to create for you is momentum. You need all five stages of these of your business working together, fueled by consistent effort and skill. And that's what it's going to take to create momentum. When you create the big mo and are in flow, that's when the magic begins. When the magic begins. And if you're not on my weekly email, you can get on my Instagram at Ask Jim Miller. There's a section in my profile that will allow you to sign up for the newsletter. It's got my transcript and everything. I want you to use this to make sure that when you roll out of 2023, you will have done everything to create momentum. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing today. Okay. Take flight is here, my friends, version 4.0 to get you to 30,000 feet. It's my wish and my goal for you. Have a, have a wonderful week and Next week, we're going to talk a little bit more. We're going to go into more granular detail on this concept I talked about as it relates to fuel, that consistent effort and skill. 
Talk to you next week. Thank you.